So I already showed you guys path auto and when and why and how you can use that for your website and when it makes sense in the last video. So this is all part of a bigger series of tutorials. If you haven't already if you haven't already got um, the tutorials from Begin Learning Drupal. It's the fastest way to go from nothing to website. Uh, it makes building your website a whole lot easier. And uh, we're basically come to the end of the basic version of Drupal SEO. There is a more advanced series, but this is the last video for the uh, basic version of SEO. And the advanced series will cover more um, important stuff like, you know, competitor analysis and the best search engine software and all my other tips and tricks and tools that I use that help me get work done a lot better and faster. But for now, as I said, this is the last video in the basic series. And what we are going to look at is the Wibia toolbar. Now to show you an example of what that looks like, I'm going to go to my own website, which is RamonaWorks.com. It says over here, powered by uh, Wibia basically just this toolbar that enables you to do cool stuff like translate. Um, people can like this page or tweet this page to their friends. The advantage of doing that is when your content and your site is shared on other people's Twitter or Facebook, it basically ends up bringing a huge influx of traffic. So you could tell all your friends or employees or whoever has a Twitter or a Facebook or a MySpace or a LinkedIn or any of these other social networks to say, hey, uh, could you please share my site? You know, um, you know how Twitter has the tweet of the day or basically the most retweeted item? Well, it's good. It's, it's not the greatest thing. There are other ways you can also build amazing influx of traffic is by having it be on high PR sites, having the content be there. Also having, a, as I said, a huge influx of traffic coming into your website by having a lot of people share your content. So I've used the Wibia toolbar and the other option is the Gigia toolbar. Okay, San Francisco. So this area of my site is kind of like a test area. It's not it's a very old version of the site and it used to be the old design. Now I just use it to like a design lab sort of. And I used to use the Gigia toolbar. It's not like Gigia is better than Wibia or Wibia is better than Gigia. It's nothing like that. They're both different. They're both great in their own way. It depends on uh, the look and feel of, you know, which one you like. If you like this sort of, you know, buttons and stuff, you might want to go with, um, Gigia, but they both have, you know, an almost equal number of applications. Even Wibia has all these different kinds of apps. Um, you can share it on all these different websites. In the advanced series, I'll show you how you actually install all this. But for now, that's kind of how you do it. So you have Gigia and you have Wibia. And this kind of, and you can make both match your website. So anyway, I'm in my Wibia dashboard and it's very easy to add applications. So you can click on edit toolbar and you can see all the different applications that you've added. In this case, I've only added the translation, the Facebook like button and the tweet button, but there are other kinds of applications. If you click on add applications, uh, you can click on all apps and you can see everything that's basically available. If you want to keep people on your site, some people even do video chat, some people use Games Arcade. You know, I just wanted to keep it really simple. Dig is a very, very um, important website. It's very cool to put your content over there. It's in the top, top uh, websites out there. So if you want more traffic, you should definitely start digging it by adding this definitely get some incoming traffic but I didn't want to add too much to start with 
because I also have a dig account and I can go there and I can, you know, so it's really up to you and it's really up to how you uh, think you want your page to look. So that's it. As far as the Rubia toolbar goes, you can go in and you can explore uh, Gigia as well. It's very easy to install both of them. So the other option is to use a conduit toolbar. Now, it only takes you about 10 minutes or so to basically get in and start creating your conduit toolbar. In the advanced course, I assure you guys how you can do that. But I have to mention, um, I have to mention conduit in this um, series of videos. I created one for myself. You know, I customized it. It was very easy to do that. And it looks something like this where you basically had the old logo. I could always update it to the new logo, but I could share this toolbar with other people and I can give them the link and I can say, hey, um, you know, if you ever want to get website tips or you want to search the internet or tweet about, you know, the website instead of, like for right now, I'll give you an example of what some kinds of uh, toolbars look like. So. If I looked at stumble upon, for example, you see the stumble upon toolbar, it says start stumbling, you can start sharing your content that way. Or you can create your own customized toolbar using conduit. And it's uh, pretty amazing, actually. So you can add all kinds of things like Flickr and Groupon and you know, you can even uh, add Flickster movies, maps, all kinds of stuff. And I can give you the advantages, disadvantages, you know, all that stuff in the advanced course. But um, Conduit, definitely give it a shot. Between Gigio, Wibia, and Conduit, I'm sure your site will get a ton of traffic. When it comes to Gigio and Wibia, choose one, not both. Uh, unless you're testing which one performs better, I would say try one of them out um, and kind of go from there. So that is the last part of our basic SEO guide. They said there's also an advanced guide, but this is the basic SEO guide. Uh, if you want the PDF version of all these videos that you know have a few details, you basically you can go to the link at the bottom of the screen and register your copy, and you'll get a free copy of the basic series um, PDF version that you can download and print out and um, start from there.